In this lecture, we are going to learn distributed collaboration. So based on how to build complex uh, GUI interfaces so that uh, uh, many objects collaborate together. So let's take a look at this uh, example application. Suppose here we have a, some uh, text string that we want to display. The quick brown fox legs to CSE 335. And we have a font family, and then we have a combo box. With this one has a list that, that you can choose. So basically, when you uh, choose different font, then this uh, string, this string will display using this uh, uh, the font that you choose. For example, if we choose uh, this one, so you see it will display. Uh, this text will change based on what we uh, select from this combo list. And also we can uh, type in here, for example, Arial Black. You can see it uh, also uh, changes the the the, uh, the font of this uh, string. And also we can, uh, for example, and also we can choose the style here. Like for example, we choose the black and the italic or uh, underline, for example. And also you can specify the sizes, for example, if we type in 40, it will become much bigger. So that's the application that we want to build. Now let's take a look. So we are going to use, use uh, Qt to build this, and we are going to use signal and slots. So now let's consider the interaction between this uh, family. This is a line edit, Q line edit object. So we are going to see the interaction between this Q line ed, uh, uh, edit and uh, this is Q label. So this Q line edit can issue signal that uh, can emit signal that text chain with the Q string as the parameter, and this Q label has a slot with set text, is which is also Q string, and it will select perfect, right? Because we said that. Uh, the parameters must match for the signal and the source. However, they mean different Q strings. For this one, for the uh, the family, the Q string is like this is uh, the string of the font, the name of the font. And for this uh, label, the slot, in the, the string in the slot, this one means the string of this uh, the quick brown for fox like CSC 335. So although both have the type of Q string, they mean totally different things. Now let's take a look at the uh, the interaction between this combo box and this list box and uh, this uh, string. So this combo box issue signal current font changed. We can issue a Q font uh, signal. And the slot for the Q label, which is set text, which is Q string, you can see that the type does not match. Now let's take a look at the uh, these checkboxes. These checkboxes, the signal is clicked, which which has a parameter is yes or no. This one is checked yes or no, and the Q label is a, is a, requires a string. And similarly for this size, the size is uh, the signal is a string, which indicates the size. And the slot is a string, and uh, which is the quick brown fox string. So although both are string, but they uh, they mean very differently. All right, and also this, we just talk about everything in relation to the this string, this label that we display here, and also there are interaction among these uh, obje uh, objects. Uh, let's take a look at this case. So whenever we select something here, whenever we select something here, we we want to display them in the in this uh, line edit as well. So for this uh, font combo box, the uh, signal that it emits is Q font uh, reference, and uh, this one. This one is a uh, line edit is set text which is Q string and so the type does not match. And similarly for that's the inter that's the impact of this Q combo box on this uh, line edit. The same vice versa. So this uh, Q line edit the signal is text changed and the other one is set current font which is requires a font. This one is a string. So also the text does not match. 
So how? So now the question is how when we want to build GUI, uh, a GUI application, we may need to have two objects collaborate together, and one issue a signal, another receive uh, has a slot receiving slot, and their type do not match. Their types do not match. How to deal with this issue? So the solution is we can make a new class that derived from the GUI class and then we can add the slots that we want to add to the new uh, class. So basically if, if the slots this one does not have the slot that you want, you add a slot. Okay. So now the question another question is in this in the cute designer, so remember those we in the queue designer we just basically drag in the queue designer so here in the queue designer we basically drag those stuff uh, drag those uh, widget to uh, this uh, main window so so how to spef specify a GUI element is an object of a new class that you designed so to do that we can use this uh, if you right click the you put your mouse on the uh, GUI object and then you right click it has a uh, an option called promote to so this one you can choose promote to for example and this one because we already have promote to you can demote to if you already have promote to then you then the job box will only shows uh, demote to all right so that's the way that we uh, solve this issue Okay, now let's take a look of the the code. So, for this one, for the label, uh, we have the, the existing class is queue label, but we need to make our own label class. Suppose I call it Alex label, and for this label class, of course, we will inherit from this queue label. And for any class with signal and slots, it must have this queue underline object macro. This is doesn't have semicolon this is a macro so Q object so this you always need to have this otherwise the, uh, the mock tool will not read this file will not create the signal and slots for you and your program will not work all right and also you must separate dot h and dot cpv file so otherwise you will get some uh, and uh, undefined reference to v table errors and, and so on so you must separate dot h and dot cpv files all right, for the constructor of uh, your new class, you basically pass the thing basically to the queue base class. All right, and uh, then here you have uh, some slots. So here you have some slots. And uh, so for, uh, let's take a look because uh, you need to, this this is a label and this uh, new label class need to receive signals from each I mean, of those objects. And uh, now let's take a look. So for receiving signals from this Q font combo box, so from to receive signal from this guy, and this one it, it, it issues uh, emit a signal of current font changed with a uh, uh, Q font uh, uh, object uh, reference. So then we have we can have set font with a Q font, and uh, then for receiving this one is. Uh, for receiving signal of Q line edit for the font family, uh, which which issue emits a signal of text change, uh, const Q, uh, which is a Q string, and we can set to set font uh, by text which with a Q string, and for receiving signals from each of these checkbox, we need to have a function the modify font by checkbox bold and the modify font by check was uh, italic and uh, underline and each with a boolean because each of them issue uh, emit a signal clicked with a boolean variable and um, and then this one so for the for receiving signal from this queue line added with a size so the which one this one issue a signal test changed with a queue string and then we we have a queue string that receives the signal from this so that's uh, qlan edit dot h qlabel dot h now let's take a look at qlan edit dot h so for qlan edit dot h we need to have those constructors so for the constructors we basically pass them to the base class it inherits from qlan edit and then 
then that's this one so the c this one receives signal from this um, uh, uh, font com combo this font Q font combo emit Q font signal and uh, and so we need to uh, have a, a, a slot that receive this uh, show font for example with the Q font as the parameter now let's take a look of uh, main window dot h so main window dot h so uh, main window dot h here we are going to uh, uh, ignore for now so this is for another way of dealing with this problem and uh, then these two we are going to look at them later on and uh, so this is the uh, main window dot cpp so so in the constructor of the main window in the constructor of the main window we need to can connect those signal and slots so this is a uh, line edit family uh, line edit family with the uh, label and then this is a uh, line edit family with the uh, combo okay so then this one is a combo box with uh, the label combo box with the label and uh, and then these three are the uh, this is a uh, uh, this is a cube uh, uh, font uh, font combo box font combo box with the line edit and uh, then this is the check box for bold italic and uh, underline for there are three of them and with the label so then this one is the line edit is the, the image signal and this label will receive the signal will receive the signal all right so for the label dot cpp we basically need to implement all these functions in uh, lxc label dot uh, h all right let's take a look so uh, set font we basically um, we basically will get the q label and so we basically call the q set font uh, in the define in the base class and then by text we basically need to generate create a, a Q font object and then call the set font call set font and uh, then <coughs> modify font by checkbox bold we need to uh, create an, a font object get and uh, get from we basically get from the current font object get the current font object and then set weight set bold use this B uh, this boolean variable B to set bold and then set font so call set font all right then same thing for this italic thing so basically we set italic b right you notice that and uh, then set uh, underline is the same so set uh, this set underline b and then we set font all right then this one is a uh, modify font by ch the checks box basically for this guy and we basically get the font and then we get the size from this uh, size string we basically convert this uh, string by basically convert this to uh, a, a number a, s a integer and then we set font for uh, we, we basically we have a font we get the current font we, we need to set pixel size set pixel size using this the value we get from this all right then this one is uh, Qline edit dot h Qline edit dot which we h we basically have this uh, uh, Qline edit dot cpp in this Qline edit dot cpp we basically set show show font we get the font we basically set the text using this uh, uh, font dot family all right that's the one way to deal with this issue another solution is to use a proxy so uh, what we have done is basically we basically directly build the signal and slot directly build the signal and slot for the objects although we make new classes another way is to have a proxy that do this translation right so the reason that we <coughs> we need this proxy is basically that uh, uh, the signal and slots they speak different languages and w we want this proxy to do this uh, translation and which which object can serve this as this proxy I mean for this application for this application the main window will be the perfect uh, proxy 
So uh, what does that mean? So basically, instead of uh, each connect, instead of connect the signal from this uh, 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 Q family object to this Q label object, instead of doing that, we basically build a signal and slot from this family and this main window and then from the main window we will build a signal and slot uh, with the label so basically this um, main window will receive will have a slot to receive a signal from this uh, uh, QLAN edit and uh, also it has a s issue a s emit a signal that this uh, uh, Q, uh, um, Q label can receive so in the main window, we are going to have two connects for this purpose. Basically, we connect the QLAN edit signal text changed, and the main window of uh, the main window slot is line edit family uh, changed, and then we also connect this uh, set label text, of the signal of the main window, and the Q label slot of set text. So this main window will serve as the proxy or the translator between the um, original signal and the original slot that we want to uh, them to collaborate.